Hey guys, Jace Moon here with some Madden 13 online ranked match. It's the Washington Redskins, aka Hasty's Nuts, and myself, the Seattle Seahawks. Here we are in Century Link Field, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, in Seattle, Washington at 1 o'clock whenever this game was played, which was like two days ago. But anyways, this is uh, just a regular online ranked match, and I'm starting to... At least, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm starting to get into, uh, Virgin Gaming, or whatever, and start play like, starting to play, like, money games and stuff like that, so I'm, I'm gonna start playing a lot of Madden 13, I mean, it's the only thing that's really interesting to me right now, and anything MLB is just, I don't know, it's a grind to finish that game that I started, so, uh, yeah, like I said, I started in the, the money games, so, you know, I gotta start improving, because I, I suck, I really do. However, I do show a lot of potential for, like, right there. I think I'm a much better running back than I am a quarterback, so just bear with me on those. Um, but, uh, anyways, this guy that I played against tastes these nuts. He already sounds cocky, so I need to make sure that I beat him. I think anybody who's cocky, if you lose to them, then it's like, you know, I don't, I don't know, how, I don't know to, how to describe it, but it's like, it's not something you want to do. If someone's cocky, it's it, it's like extra reward to beat them. So, you know, obviously you come out and you want to win. But when you have a guy whose name is Tasty's Nuts, it's almost like you have to win now. I mean, like, so um, anyways, uh, he, he wanted to be a realistic Madden player, or at least that's what it seemed like when it, when it came to his offense. Like, he liked to run the ball a lot um, with his running back, not with RG3, which is good because, you know, if you're going to run the ball a lot with RG3, it'd be kind of annoying. So you get your rushing touchdown there with Alfred Morris. But, uh, you know, like I said, he, he tried to be a good Madden player, but he but whenever he threw the ball, it was very um, gimmicky or whatever. Like, there was one play where he had a really quick pass on a, on a streak and everything. Um, and it, it gained a good 10 yards. It got the first down, but, it, you know, that's it's gimmicky. Um, yeah, it would only happen in Madden. But anyways, uh... He also tried to replicate me when it came to running the running the ball. And look at this. Oh, my gosh. I was scared at the end of the first quarter. But um, he tried to replicate how I ran the football. But he just never could get, you know, the he just never knew when to run the football. Um, as I get sacked again on fourth and ten. So now it's first and ten. And he's got the ball to 23-yard line. So he's destined to score. But look how he motioned that guy out there. Uh, I think it's Alfred Morris out there. Look at this. See, I told you. I figured stuff out. I don't know why you lobbed it. That's even worse. But I get the pick, the user pick. And he's already done that before. And, you know, I, I shut it down. But anyways, we find Tate on the looks like the slant route. And we're getting more and more yardage. Uh, slowly but surely, you know, there's quick passes. And we hand it off to Lynch and breaks a tackle. And he could go all the Way out of bounds. No, he stayed in bounds. Never mind. Um, just not fast enough, I guess. But anyways, see, this is what I'm talking about right there. I knew when to get the heck out of the pocket and run for it. He, he on the other hand, he, he did not know when to. He, he kind of, like, designed the play. He's like, okay, I'm going to run this. You, you're going to run this route. You're going to run this route. And I'm going to run the football. And, you know, you can't do that as a rushing quarterback. See, right here, he, I think he, he kind of made a good decision sort of but most of the time he just started out with with the run uh with, with rg3 and um uh, you know he finds the open man like almost every time because my defense is just garbage but you see right here he does with that little option fake and for some reason clemens just like bounces right off of rg3 um for some reason but as he rolls back he's gonna find a wide open or he's not even wide open i mean that's the sad part but See, this is what I'm talking about right there. He starts to run out with him with RG3 and then flips it over to Moss, and Moss fumbles it. But that just annoys me. Or maybe that was Garcon. It was Peter Garcon, wasn't he? Wasn't it? But uh, anyways, with the clock winding down in the second quarter, he's going to find Alfred Morris in the end zone to tie it up. And uh, to start the second half, he's going to go with the onside kick, and no need, no need to switch into the um, onside kick return or whatever it's called. Because it's not um, not as good as just a regular uh, return mid. But that gives us really great field position. And Marshawn Lynch, look at how he just powers through. Just runs right over uh, that guy there. And we get the first down. But second and 11 here. 
Uh, Mr. Wilson is going to find Marshawn Lynch for the incomplete pass. I have no idea what the heck I was doing there. Uh, I told you I sucked, didn't I? But uh, we take a sack, and now it's fourth and 20 with Baker getting into the backfield. Now it's really tough, but I'm going to go for it. And look at this pass. It gets through. How? I don't know, but Miller with the touchdown. Wow. That was not supposed to get through, but we'll take it. 21-14, uh, and uh, Marcus Banks on the return. Looks like he finds a – nope. Looks like he almost found the gap there. Uh, you know Marcus Banks pretty fast. So, anyways, here's the pass to Mr. 23. I see, it didn't say his name, so I didn't know who it was. Uh, Fred Davis. I don't even know if that was Fred Davis. But anyways, RG3 with the play action fake will find Davis once again wide open. And uh, watch this play again. The exact same play. And I said, I think I think I said in this video that I was good at adjusting. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They I didn't know I was that bad at it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that was pretty sad. Um, and I should have stopped that play the second time around. But, anyways, uh, it's a tie ball game. As, as you can't tell, it's like one team scores and the next team scores and so on and so forth. But check this out. We're going to get the pass interference on the defense. So, it's like we completed anyways. However, it's not like we completed it. Because if he if we were able to catch that and he just ran right past us, we would have scored easily. But, anyways, this is what I'm talking about with the awareness to be able to know when to run. Uh, with your quarterback, and, you know, I, I'm real pretty good at that, but you see right here, I don't know how that's, I don't even know how that's even accurate, but uh, thrown off of the back foot with the jump or whatever, but Russell Wilson rounding the pocket, and look at this, that's not even fair, I was trying to step to the side, uh, do a little juke move, get out to the side, but instead he pump fakes, and then he gets hit, no, Madden, that's not what I wanted, I think what they should do is they should, oh, get sat down, Wow, what a hit. They should do is, um, whenever you hold down R2, they should, uh, oh, what? No. Oh, RG3 breaks it off for a big gain, a touchdown. Mr. RG3, Robert Griffin the third. But as I was saying, you should, they should make it so when you're holding the R2 button as the quarterback, all of those pass stuff goes away. Because you can let go of the R2 button just to press uh, square to throw it to the square receiver and so on and so forth. I mean, as long as you're holding that that R2 button, the sprint button down, it, sh it should all go away. Uh, because sometimes when you're running with the football and you, you got a two-yard gain, and then you want to like step to the side or you want to slide, you're going to end up getting hit or you're going to throw it illegally. So, uh, yeah. But anyways... We're down by a touchdown, and there's about four minutes left in this in this game. But look at Russell Wilson just making the, you know the right move there. He had to take the hit because if I would have pressed square, then he would have thrown it. Exactly what I was talking about. But Marshawn Lynch getting the juke and taking it into the corner for the touchdown, and we're tied up 28-28 with not a lot of time left in this game, but just just an, more than enough really for this guy to come right down the field and score. And look at Marcus Banks. Look at this blocking. Look at this block. Oh, look at Johnson. Marcus Banks almost broke that one free. But anyways, RG3 dropping back. Finds uh, Alfred Morris, but he is tackled just after uh, midfield. So anyways, another handoff to Alfred Morris, and he is taken down after five yards. So a good gain right there. 13 rushes. That's what I'm talking about. He's trying to run the football a lot. You see he's running it again, and he's taken down by Browner. So now we're going to start calling timeouts because it's under the two minutes. But look at look at how he runs out like that. And then he pump fakes. So I don't know if he was trying to like juke me or if he actually intended to pump fake. But uh, Red Bryant just told him to taste D's nuts. But anyways, fourth, uh, second and 20. And RG3 dropping back. And look at this mistake. Throwing it in the coverage. Wagner with the pick. And he's going to be taken down almost immediately. However, we do get the ball. With a minute 40 left, and we're about ready to come down this field and get a field goal. Or maybe even a touchdown. I, don't, I really don't care how we win as long as we win. But uh, Wilson dropping back somehow gets this one to Sidney Rice. But we'll take it because we got to continue to march down the field in a hurry. Play action fake. And look at this. Mike, uh, Mike Miller. <laughs> Heath Miller. I think it's Heath. Zach Miller? I don't even know. I think it's Zach. 
Zach Miller. Look at that catch. Way to hold on to it, man. Nice job. But anyways, uh, we're right around in that field goal range. Another flip to Mike, uh, Zach Heath Miller. Zach Heath. There's so many tight ends named Miller. It's like crazy. But anyways, uh, handoff to Lynch, and he almost scores a touchdown. And that probably would have been a good, bad thing if he did. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and let this clock drain out all the way down to three seconds, and we're going to kick this field goal. Because three is the magic number. And there we go, timeout. So now I bring out the field goal team, and this is up. And it is good. This game is over. And you can taste these nuts. So the Seahawks win 31-28, and I win again. Woohoo! So, uh, yeah, that boosts my record of 4-3. and three. Uh, I don't know what this guy's record was, but, you know, like I said, my record is now a winning record. But anyways, a good game overall. Um, I do suck at Madden. So if you lost to me... Then, uh, then you suck. But, uh, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Peace. I'm out. Wait, before I go, actually, I did find the, uh, Carolina Panthers Connected Career Mode Super Bowl, uh, video gameplay. So I'll be uploading that shortly, hopefully. But anyways, uh, peace. Now I'm out.